So Death Row, an institution of, of hip hop, you know, history, West Coast, I mean, global. Death Row, everybody knows Death Row. You just bought it back. Who who owned it at the time? It, it went through, it changed uh, ownership it went from, a lot, right? From E1 to Hasbro to Blackstone to Snoop Dogg. What's that feel like to bring it back home? You know what? I did so much crying and complaining about my masters, and Cordell could tell you. I used to cry like a motherfucker about my masters. Fuck that shit, I want my masters. He used to be like, man, fuck that, Pops. All you gotta do is just do your shit over like Taylor Swift. Just redo your shit. And I'm like, I don't want to, because it's a feeling. It's like, it's something about that record. You can't redo it. And when I finally got it back, I still haven't cried. I still haven't, like, really felt the moment of I got my shit back, because I've been taking care of everybody else. I ain't been focused on doggy style. I've been trying to make sure that all of the people that was a part of the process, getting their shit right, making sure they getting paid, setting up shows, you know, branding the, the label, getting the merchandise right, getting it in different, you know, scenarios, movies, TV shows, to make it lovable, to make Death Row what it was supposed to be, friendly. You know, when you think of Death Row, you're supposed to think about great music and not getting it's your not ass beat. It's not the first thing I think of is not friendly. You think about getting your ass beat. Yeah, I want to remove that, getting your ass beat. Yeah. That's up to him and his brother to do handle yeah. that department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think Suge thinks about it? You, do you ever talk to Suge at all? Nah, but I, not, I, right? I spoke to him maybe about a year and a half ago. We had a great conversation, but it wasn't nothing about me buying Death Row. Nothing. That wasn't even in the equation. We was just getting caught up on, you know, life and you know how much love we got for each other and how we've outgrown the negativity or whatnot. That's so. Good. I think I think he would be proud. I think he would be happy because he knows I'm a great businessman and then I'm also a part of the creation of Death Row and it's not like I stole it, I bought it. So I had to go do something to create some sort of finances to actually purchase this. So with respect, you know, it's been sold many times. So to actually have it sold back to somebody that he believed in makes makes more sense than anything. For sure. What's next for uh for Death Row? Death Row films, Death Row sick, Kids, sick, uh sick. G Funk Lullabies, Death Row Merchandise, um, Web Three, Web Three. Yeah, we we already in the metaverse yeah. with Death Row. We the first major label to be in the metaverse. We did how many ETHs did we do? You know the number. We did a thousand ETH in one month. Did two hundred and sixty nine singles, um, wow. and, and and really grew a community of five thousand people in like thirty days. Sick. M music NFTs. Yeah. All music All NFTs. Music. And we have an exclusive relationship with Gala Games and Gala Music, <laughs> where some of this Death Row music will be for sale. We'll be selling certain Sick. songs off of these albums that you can actually own, monetize, and do what you want to do with. Sick, dude. I I, I have so much uh, love for people who who do a lot. And you guys do a lot, you know. Um, you started off your career a certain way, and then I mean, I don't know if you've seen like the memes on Twitter, but they're saying you're you're on your side quest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it, like, you're doing everything. You do and they got shit of me, and I did a commercial in Russia, nigga. When I came out of motherfucking refrigerator, they got commercials of me in Australia, one promoting like the Uber Eats over there. Like, <laughs> no way. It ain't so, it ain't sh it ain't much. I don't do dog because I look at it like this: if it's fun, and it makes funds, let's have a little fun.